Hi everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working my traveler's notebook. But before I start with my layout, I did want to share this new freckled fawn kit. It's an embellishment kit that is so adorable. You get a bunch of little embellishments in this kit. You get this wood veneer that says hello, some enamel shapes, you get some washi tape strips, labels, and also some alpha stickers, these really beautiful orange alpha stickers. I'm also sharing the new uh, Traveler's Notebook cover. Now I have this cover, I think I have like three of them, but uh, this one has pockets and they're in teal, so cute. And the inside has like mini little black hearts, which I really love, and a pencil holder or a pen holder. You can also find these little pockets that you can add into your cover. You can use it to add your washi tape, uh, stickers, whatever the case is. Really cute, very handy. And also they have these um, pockets, this, these transparency pockets that you can add photos. You can add like four by eight photos if you want, or if you're not a big fan of working in your traveler's notebook because of the bulkiness, this is perfect to slide in your layout and add it into your cover, which is pretty neat, but I think I'm gonna use it in a different way and hopefully I will share that with you very soon if it works, but I really, really love it and I can't wait to use it. Now I'm gonna use the kit to create a spread in my layout. You guys know I love simplicity and I always say that you don't need a lot of products to create a layout in your traveler's notebook or on your spreads in general. I decide I'm going to use the wood veneer that says hello as my title. Um, I think it's just enough uh, and simple enough to just add that on the left side of my spread where my pattern paper is. But I decide to use the washi tape to create like layers behind my photo. This is where I'm like gonna talk about simplicity again. Just using the washi tape and the label stickers to add layers to my photo was enough. Of course, I'm gonna add a few little bits here and there behind my photo, just like adding glassine bag. And uh, I believe I end up using some red pattern paper just to bring in the red from the left side of my spread. But just using simple things that I already have in my craft room or using a kit uh, to create a layout is very simple, very easy, and you don't really need a lot of products. So I'm going to end up using these washi tapes and I'm adding them randomly. I'm adding the, I'm going to end up adding the labels also. I thought adding labels was pretty smart just to have somewhere to stamp on. You guys know I love to stamp. So I was thinking ahead of time and thinking I should use the labels to bring in some of the colors from the left side and also it would give me somewhere to stamp on. Now there is no right or wrong way to do this. Literally just adding them wherever you think uh, it looks good. Um, I'm just going for it. I'm even gonna end up moving some of those labels because I felt like I needed to add more washi before I added the labels and they were pretty easy to remove. I'm also trying to bring in some of the green. Now, this is something I also always recommend. Don't stick to just a few colors. Don't stick to two colors just because my pattern paper was yellow and red. That doesn't mean everything I use has to be yellow and red. Or is that like mustardy yellow, I guess? Um, bringing in the green matches with my mustardy yellow. Um, adding the reds and the oranges, all of that matches, so I'm just going for it. And um, I really, really love the colors from the kit because it was really fallish. And I'm documenting this 3 by 3 I believe, photo of the sunrise, which was gorgeous, and it just gave me that fall um, feel. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick down my picture because I'm going to end up using the alpha stickers that came in the kit to add sunrise and this is also going to help bring in the orange to the right side of my spread. 
Once I'm done adding Sunrise, I'm going to grab some of my Kelly Perky stamps. And I'm gonna end up stamping I Love Fall, um, and then I believe Autumn, things like that on my labels. And I'm not done, I will come back to my stamps and add some more stamping to my spread. But once I stamp out a few of these phrases, I'm gonna grab the enamel shapes and enamel dots that came with the kit and I'm gonna end up adding some randomly to my spread just to add some texture and dimension to my layouts. Now, if you're not familiar with the new Freckled Fawn bundle, now I believe that you can add and remove embellishments from your bundle, from your kit. So if you want two washi tape strips, you can add that. If you didn't like the washi tape strips, you can remove it from your bundle. You can kind of create your own embellishment kit, which is really awesome. I love that. I think it's an amazing idea. So I'm gonna add all the links for this kit and all the information about the bundle in the description box for you guys. So I'm gonna add the link for Freckled Fawn down below for you. But this kit released already, so if you like it, uh, definitely I would recommend you go check it out. But I believe I am done with my spread. You got to see how easy and simple it came together using the Freckled Fawn kit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.